Hi students, in this video we are discussing about the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. From a series of experiments, Michael Faraday has concluded that uh, the series of a lot of experiments they have conducted, one Faraday and one Henry, and almost at the same time at two different places. And from that series of experiment, Faraday has concluded whenever there is any variation in magnetic flux linked with a circuit, linked with a coil, then an EMF is induced in it. Means for like, for example, I will say, if we have some circuit or some uh, something like uh, this type of circuit and it is placed in some magnetic field, in some magnetic field it is placed or this single coil only this is also placed in some magnetic field into the paper and this some flux is linked with it some flux is linked with this or some flux is linked with it and that flux is changing with time. That flux is changing with time. Now that flux change can be due to the change in area, due to the change in B or due to the change in theta or anything else. But in my uh, arrangement, what I have shown you on the screen, it is only because of changing uh, magnetic field here for the time being. Now, if the flux linked with this circuit is changing with time, then some EMF will induce across the boundary of the loop. Then some EMF in, induced. He called this phenomena as electromagnetic induction. One magnetic phenomena is producing the electricity. So electromagnetic induction, this phenomena he called. And the EMF what has been developed here because of the varying magnetic flux this EMF, he has called it as the induced EMF. This EMF has been told as a induced EMF. And if some current flows through it because of this induced EMF, that current is termed as induced current. So I'm reading this formal statement. Whenever there is a changing or cutting of flux, whenever there is a changing or cutting of flux linked with a circuit, an EMF will induce in the circuit. This EMF will last as long as the magnetic flux linked with the circuit changes with time. Means say for example, here the magnetic flux is changing up to T equal to zero to T equal to two second. Then from zero to two second EMF will appear. As soon as at 2 equal to 2 second flux becomes constant, then EMF will disappear. So once again, you can see whenever there is a changing or cutting of magnetic flux linked with a circuit, then an EMF is induced in the circuit. This phenomenon is termed as the electromagnetic induction. This EMF which has been developed is termed as the induced field EMF. And if the circuit is capable to have a current, then the current which is arising due to this induced field EMF, induced EMF will be termed as induced current and this induced EMF will last, will be existing only as long as the flux is varying with time. As soon as the flux stops changing with time, the EMF will disappear. Now from this series of experiment, he has concluded. Then after that, he has given one mathematical relation and that mathematical relation, we call it as the Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. According to this law, EMF induced is equal to the negative of time rate of change of magnetic flux. Means EMF induced is equal to the negative of time rate of change of magnetic flux. This one E equal to induced EMF equal to minus d phi by dt. If the circuit is having n turns, say for example, one turn, two turn, three turn, in this way, n turns are there, then in that particular case, the induced EMF will be written as n d phi by dt, where phi is the flux linked with one loop, one turn. 
and then with n turns n d5 by dt. Now this minus sign, what is minus sign is there? It is only placed, only told by the uh, Faraday to find only the polarity of the induced EMF. Now if EMF is there, say for example here, now we are saying the flux linked with this circuit is changing here. So some EMF will develop. So that EMF you will keep like this or you will keep like this way. Both are different. So to find the polarity of the induced EMF, that negative sign has been placed. It will be explained little later. What is the significance? How we can find the polarity by this negative sign? Now, some very basic important points you uh, must be able to understand about this uh, Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. First thing, it is the time varying magnetic flux which produces EMF, not the space varying magnetic field linked with this particular, say, say this is we have one loop magnetic field here different here different here different here different but they are constant they are not varying with time then no emf will induce magnetic field is same everywhere everywhere constant this uniform magnetic field it is placed but it is varying with time emf will induce so emf will induce because of the time varying nature of the magnetic field and not because of the non-uniformity of the magnetic field first point it is not it is not written here you can write it by yourself second point is emf will exist only as long as flux changes with time say for example uh, i am changing the flux here emf will develop i stop changing the flux emf disappear emf will last as long as flux is changing. Once the flux stops changing, no EMF will be there. Appearance of EMF in the circuit doesn't mean that current will be also there. Let us say I am having a non-conducting loop. This is a non-conducting loop. Say this is made up of some non-conducting material. And flux linked with this is changing. So as a result, EMF appear. Because of EMF, current won't flow because it is non-conducting. So EMF is there doesn't mean current will be there. Another situation also I can say. If say for example this is not there, this part is not there and remaining part is there, EMF is linked with it, right? Say for example it is conducting then also, but it is not a closed path, it is not a closed path, so current won't flow. So existence of EMF doesn't mean current will be there. For current to be there, circuit must be conducting and circuit must be closed. The concept what you have learned in your uh, current electricity chapter. It is also very important point. Next is, it is written if circuit is closed and conducting only then the current will flow in the circuit. The explanation of the second point only. Now what is the current in the circuit? Induced EMF we have E equal to minus D5 by TT. This is the induced EMF. Current will be, induced current will be induced emf divided by resistance of the circuit induced emf is equal to minus d5 by dt so 1 upon r d5 by dt this is the current in the circuit due to the time varying magnetic flux sometimes we also ask what is the average value of current average value of the emf induced for that you remember this type of statement E average is minus delta phi upon delta t. 
Now, one is instantaneous d phi by dt. Average value will be change in flux upon time minus phi 2 minus phi 1 upon t2 minus t1. This is the average EMF induced. If we are seeing that in this delta t time, in this delta t time, because of the current flowing, some charge is flowing. Charge will also flow in the circuit. So let us say if in delta t time, delta phi is the change in flux and delta q amount of charge flows, then the average current can be written as delta q by delta t. Then the average current can be written as delta q by delta t. Average current is equal to minus 1 upon r into average emf induced that is delta phi upon delta t and if you see this this is independent of the time in which the flux has been changed flux has been changed from phi 1 to phi 2 it may be in one second it may be in 20 second it may be in one hour it may be in two hours in all cases charge flowing from in the circuit for this particular change in flux, given change in flux, it is independent of the time. The charge flown charge flown through the circuit is independent of time. in which flux changes it only change depends on that by how much amount the flux has been changed remember this point it is also very common very important point many times question will be asked from this emf induced does not depends upon how the flux changes means what it means emf is developing because of the variation in flux flux can be developed because flux can be varied by changing b or by changing area or by changing theta now or by any combination of this you do anything by whichever way you change the flux emf will induce emf induced is not depending upon how flux has been changed it depends only on the Flux is changed. Flux changing, EMF induced. How much EMF induced? That is equal to the negative time of rate of change of magnetic flux. About that negative sign, we are going to discuss in the next video. But here, I hope up to here, the things are clear. One more thing you can see. Let us consider in this region, we have a magnetic field into the plane of paper this way this way we have the now in this say this conductor is moving in this way This conductor is moving this way. Then this conductor is moving. It is cutting these field lines. And as it is cutting the flux, an EMF will develop across this point. Across these two points, say A and B. EMF will develop. Detail of this will come in the motional EMF. How it is developing. But you remember, cutting of flux also causes the change in causes the induced EMF to develop and varying flux also going to cause the same thing. Let's uh, discuss few questions based on this Faraday law of electromagnetic induction. Simple, simple questions. A circular loop is there of radius 10 centimeter. This 10 centimeter loop is there. It is placed in a constant uniform magnetic field of 3.5 Tesla. So B is equal to 3.5 Tesla. And find the EMF induced. Now 
no emf will induce the flux linked with the circuit is equal to b into pi r square but here area constant b constant both constant means the flux will become constant and constant flux does not cause any induced emf what will cause the emf varying flux that's why here the emf induced will be zero this type of question also can be asked where you will feel uh, it is uh, flux is not changing what will be the case but question can be asked flux is not changing so emf induced is zero take another question magnetic flux linked with a circuit changes from phi 1 equal to 3 weber to 8 weber in 5 second resistance is 3 ohm you have to find the average emf induced average current and the charge flowing now average emf induced is equal to minus of delta phi upon delta t phi changes from 3 weber to 8 weber so change in flux is phi weber phi divided by in how much time 5 second so it will become 1 volt emf right negative sign is not needed because we are only finding the magnitude current in the circuit will be induced emf divided by resistance 1 divided by 3 ohm so this is the current now they are asking the charge how much charge is flowing delta q equal to minus delta phi upon r delta phi is 8 minus 3 phi 5 upon 3 this is the charge flowing average charge flowing so e equal to minus delta phi by delta t i equal to e by r i equal to delta q by delta t delta t delta t cancel also charge flowing is minus delta phi by delta r. delta phi by r so very simple simple things next you take flux as a function of time is given phi equal to 3 t square plus 60 minus 3 they are asking find the emf at t equal to 3 second current at t equal to 3 second and the resistance is given as 30 ohm now emf is equal to minus d phi by dt we are only talking about the magnitude of flux polarity of the induced EMF, magnitude of the induced emf polarity of the induced emf in next video you will see so here d phi by dt comes out to be 60 plus 6 so the emf induced at t equal to 3 second is equal to so only the magnitude i am writing minus sign i am dropping 6 into 3 plus 6 that is 24 volt then they are asking the current at t equal to 3 second at t equal to 3 second current is equal to e by r e is 24 comes and r is 30 that is 4 by 5 ampere it comes now here emf and current are varying with time they are different at different moments take another question flux linked with a non-conducting loop as a function of time is given as this something similar to previous one but here one thing is different that you have to be very careful they have written non-conducting this one they have written non-conducting and flux is given as 6t cube minus 3t square plus 5t they are asking the emf induced at t equal to 5 second charge flowing from 0 to 5 second and t equal to 5 second current so emf is equal to mod of d phi by dt it is equal to 6 3 char 18 t square minus 60 plus 5 it comes so at t equal to 5 second they are asking the value of e at t equal to 5 second it comes out to be 18 into 25 minus 6 into 5 plus 5 so it will become 17 into 25 you can solve whatever answer is coming but now here what what is the core point here it is non-conducting in non-conducting loop current won't flow current won't flow current is what actually the flow of charge 
So charge is also not flowing. So here the charge flowing and the current flowing. Current is zero and the charge flowing zero. This will be zero. It won't be E by R. Resistance is here for non-conducting loop. Resistance is infinite or we say current is not able to flow there. Right? Now take this question. This is also a nice one. Here one infinite long current carrying wire is there having the current I. Infinite long current carrying wire. And here one square loop is there. Say these distances are given to you. This is A. This is L. And this is B. Say this is given. And they are asking find out the average EMF induced when the coil rotates by 2 pi. When the coil has been turned by 2 pi. Now it is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field. It is placed in a non-uniform magnetic field and it is also mentioned that current is a function of time. So what is the function of time? Whatever is the case. In all cases EMF induced will be zero. You see this. Now initially say this is the top phase. So the flux linked will be phi initially equal to some value will come phi 1. And when it rotates by 2 pi, the final flux will also come phi 1. So the change in flux will become 0. Even though at all the moments, flux is varying. d phi by dt may be non-zero. But at this in moment, and when it has been turned by 2 pi, in this 2 moment, the change in flux is 0. So the average EMF induced will be delta phi by delta t, delta phi is 0 and delta t, whatever it is, say non-zero value, this gives you the answer 0. Right? Next question you take. Very much similar question, but here loop is not rotating and current is varying with time. Current is varying with time. Now, just like in the previous video, we have found the expression for the magnetic flux. So that we have to found. I am doing it a little faster at a distance x. I am taking one particular element here like this. This one. This is with this dx. So the magnetic flux linked with this will be mu naught i upon 2 pi x, it is the magnetic field, into L into dx, this is the flux linked with this, total flux will come out to be x varies from A to A plus B. So it will come the total flux as mu naught I upon 2 pi into L, ln A plus B upon A. Now here it is given current is a function of time given by i equal to i naught e to the power minus t by tau. So mu naught i naught l upon 2 pi ln a plus b upon a into e to the power minus t by tau. This is there. Now here the magnetic flux is linked with the circuit is varying with time. So emf induced will be minus of d phi by dt, it will become this constant I am writing as alpha, alpha and negative sign also I am dropping. So only the mod I am writing into differentiation of e to the power minus t by tau is minus t by tau into 1 upon tau. So this is the magnetic flux EMF induced across the four sides of the loop individually. Oh, individually also they are asking, hmm, I have found the EMF induced in this part, entire loop. Let's leave this for the time being because if I will go for the individually, it will take more time. Across the loop only we will write, I am changing the question. Hmm. 